5th of September, 2008. I've been doing my best to keep the grounds clean. A source of happiness, like it, keeping my sock drawer organized when the rest of the room is a catastrophe. Nice to have a small corner of cleanliness and the order of the world. What? I haven't yet found the words to describe what's happened out there. The scripter aside, my memory of the land beyond the water might be out of date. The supply boat is two days late. A telltale sign that things have only gotten worse. Kara haunts me. Kindly. That was her way. Only fair to remember as the same. We'll have to write more about Make this your extended episode. Note, cloudy today. Cloudy forever. Sixth of September, two thousand eight. Still nothing. I've taken the shooting up of flares whenever I see light on the horizon. It's never close enough to see its source. Only a soft, distant glow. The flares are a gamble. Whether or not I want the light's attention is unknown. Cutting back on food consumption. Certainly, many. Elsewhere, are doing the same. Power issues on the island. Maggie in the past, but a welcome distraction. Something to get me outside. Take it up sketching to further my distraction. I was never very good at it. Throwing everything away after completion. <laughs> Who am I afraid might see them? The 7th of September, 2008. Wondering if I'll ever get a day that Kara's face doesn't cross my mind. Not a memory or a moment, just a face. I spent a lot of time wishing that she would leave me a peaceful one. But in writing this, I realized that I hope she never does. Birds have been making for okay company. Beggars can't be choosers. Reminder, look into generator issue. Give it a good kick, if nothing else. There's a new glow on the horizon. It's been there for hours. Something about the way it lingers compels me to let the flare go rest. Nothing overtly troublesome about the glow, but it still feels better to let it stay there than me here. Found extra food stores. Treated myself to a feast, albeit. Attendant was in the company of young, lovable oaf, telling the stories of exploits from his not so glamorous days, working in show business. Wonder if any of them were true. Wonder if he made it to safety. The 8th of September, 2008. Bird songs annoyed me today. Must mean I'm getting grumpy. Will motivate self to go for a run tomorrow. Exercise some inner demons. Extra food consumption will be well worth approved mood. What else is there to strive for? The 9th of September, 2008. Started digging a hole today. Knee was acting up, so the run was cut. Not sure of Hole's purpose yet, other than exercise and sense of accomplishment. Takes me back to boyhood. Parents tried to convince me that the world was too big to dig through the other side. 
I wouldn't listen. Surely I could at least hit a magnet. Scoop some with a pail and make it into a lamp. Funny, those aspirations. Island's power issue has turned from nuisance to mystery. Equipment is fine, but found evidence of something tampering with the generator. A box of bolts was not there. Must be a surviving critter. Should say, hopefully, a surviving critter. I've taken to eating meals outside, a different location each day. The ritual keeps me out of the fresh air. That's boredom quite effectively. The hole is coming along great. No sign of Tenth of September, two thousand eight. Need to be writing more about Kara. Each time I put pen to paper for her, I default to something easy. Strange how it's so easy to write about things big as an island, but difficult to define a person. <laughs> That's it. Definition. Great place to start. Kara. Verb. Always in present tense, to illuminate people from within, to endear without effort. The 11th of September, 2008. Took soil from hole and left it on the floor surrounding generator, hoping to catch animal tracks, nothing more. Go down and check immediately after next power loss. Kara, adjective, kind to a fault, lazy in the mornings, beauty beyond the stars. September 2008. No loss of power in three days since I laid out the soil. Hmm. Conscious reaction to my little trap? Been working through my thoughts surrounding the day it hit. Tough work to do without the benefit of a therapist. Defining the pain should come first, I suppose. Was pain like realizing a theory to be truth? Truth being, man is only a blink on face of eternity. Kara. Noun. An only child. Born to parents that had fallen into, through, and out of love. The 13th of September, 2008. Finally, another power flicker. Strange how I was almost looking forward to it. Seemed to pulse in Morse code. That was just the wishful thinking of a lonely man. Letters were nonsense. Most frustrating of all, no prints in the soil. Maybe saw a single scrape on periphery, but that could have been from my own boot. We'll have to pay closer attention to the state of soil this time. Didn't like yesterday's definition. It was a bad day, I guess. Try again. Kara. Now. A girl. Forever eight years of age in her father's eyes. Forever learning knock-knock jokes. Fourteenth of September, two thousand eight. Given up on the hole. 
was a good distraction while it lasted. Thinking of putting something special at the bottom and filling it in. Buried treasure that maybe only I will ever know of. Enjoyed a campfire last night on the bluffs, but I think it will be my last. Something feels wrong about making this place into a beacon. Could have a fire down near woods or caves, but would be sacrificing view, replacing it with darkness on all sides. When did I become afraid of the dark? Fifteenth of September, two thousand eight. I'm afraid they might be on the island. Can't imagine how. Having to lock all doors. Soil around generator had a second drag mark, but nothing else. I'll have to write faster. Kara, noun. A girl that is convinced she can fly with the help of cardboard wings. Observation. Seasons are getting exponentially longer. Winter is far behind schedule. Sixteenth of September, two thousand eight. Have been falling down on the job, letting the condition of the grounds deteriorate. Didn't even realize it. Started cleaning up again. Felt good. Also took a trip down to the caves. Shouted a bunch for the sake of hearing my own echo. It was fun. Seventeenth of September, two thousand eight. Saw something in the caves. Something. Wasn't threatened or scared though. Why is that? Guess I'm getting old or reckless. I am well aware that too much solitude can breed hallucinations. I have full confidence that I will not be going crazy anytime soon. I'm smarter than that. Still no sign of them. Why am I being left alone? Perhaps they're simply here on holiday. <laughs> Beginning to question if they're here at all. Now what was I saying about not going crazy? After seeing more movement in the cave, went down to the beach and made a little sand castle. Far enough out that the tide will come and take it soon. I think I'll keep making them like that. Washed away each day. A clean canvas for a new design. I'd like to think the people in those castles are sailing away instead of drowning.
the 19th of September, 2008. Observation. I don't take enough deep breaths anymore. It's remarkable how helpful they are to one's mood. Also haven't been closing my eyes other than to go to sleep. Another simple, lovely addition to my morning, noon, and night routines. Sandcastles are getting more intricate, using sticks and cloth for flags, pebbles for people. Slightly regretful that they're swept away each day, but it's become an essential part of my process. Essential to all things, it seems. Well, there I go again. Quit being such a drag. Will not write a single sad thing tomorrow. The 21st of September, 2008. Ha! <laughs> Just read last line of last entry. I skipped a day entirely. So, technically, didn't write anything sad. And can go right back to behaving glumly. Still, I will honor the spirit. I don't feel very sad anyway. It's a warmer day. The birds are getting more comfortable with me. They hop a little closer with each day. Does that mean I'm becoming a part of this island? Kara, adjective, of or pertaining to pure joy. Considered moving generator into next room over, but fortunately thought wiser. Motor's noise would mask any approaching threats. Generator also seems to attract them. Maybe I should just move it further away. Could also quit bothering entirely and shut the thing down. No. Preference to darkness is a step towards insanity. The lights will stay on. The 23rd of September, 2008, went to the cave again, not sure why, saw something again. I never believed in ghosts, still don't. Some stray neuron deep in my mind must be eager to bring Kara back to the real world, forcing glimpses of her in places that are otherwise empty. I'll do my best to enjoy these moments without talking to them. Tricks of the mind played by the eyes. Went for a swim. It was cold as hell, but something new. While I was out there, could have sworn that I heard a passenger airliner overhead. Hard to believe the things are still flying. Wished I wasn't so close to the surf. It was too noisy. Now I'll never be sure what I heard. Food store is getting low. Been having fantasies of building a raft and sailing away, but where would I go? As of yet, I have been left in relative peace. I doubt very much I could find the same anywhere else. This gives rise to a question. Is there someone else on some other island?
24th of September, 2008. The thought of Jan again. Even in memory, he's simply a joy to be around. He told me that he worked on a Wahlberg film with a crew so large that he was able to hide from work for the entire job. He said the only person on the job that knew his name was the accountant that cut his checks. <laughs> How did such a big man hide from work so well? I never thought I would see Jan Grimace growl or throw a punch. Seeing him do those things and more as we fled the city was unnerving. I'm glad he was there. Come to think of it, I wouldn't have made it without him. I should write about him in this book. Tear out the page and bury it somewhere. I should do that. The 25th of September, 2008. More light on the horizon. An uncommon teal quality to it. Not a good sign. I'm glancing now between this page and the glow, hoping for a flicker, any sign of weakness. Their impenetrable perfection remains damning to us all. To see it falter would likely make no difference to me, other than a sort of emotional Two hours have passed. The light has not wavered. What are they doing out there? I think loneliness is made far worse when one has been in good company. If this belief is true, then I am cursed for the rest of my days. This beckons that horribly frustrating cliché. A good problem to have. The 26th of September, 2008. I should have taken stock rather than prattling about lost loves. It would have taken a single day of writing to catalog the contents of the food stores, but it simply didn't seem important. Now I can neither confirm or deny my theory, but I'm almost certain that the supply has been replenished. The explanation is either my own madness or I'm being kept alive. Troubling on all sides, as per usual. The 27th of September, 2008. Music. What an idiot I've been. I suppose I have the excuse of being far enough from technology to forget, but... I've been humming tunes to myself for months without once considering actually playing something. It's so terribly telling that the very idea of a non-essential pleasure has slipped my mind all this time. A lapse of thought on the level of brain damage, though I suffered no such blow. But finding appreciation for songs and bands that never gave a second chance before things took a turn. This is partly because the supply of discs is so limited. Pink Floyd, can you believe that? Sometimes I watch the lights on the horizon and listen to Pink Floyd. If you knew me, you would appreciate how absurd that is. Who am I writing? Just realized I haven't had a dream since I arrived here. Am I sleeping too deep to experience them? Or are they too traumatic to remember? There's no one here to tell me I might scream through the night. The 28th of September, 2000. Can't sleep. Light on horizon, getting brighter. Now accompanied by that ironically peaceful droning sound, like a Mongolian throat singing, wrapped in flowers. At least they have a sense of humor.
the 29th of September, 2008. Birds. The 30th of September, 2008. I've taken to stacking stones in my free time. <laughs> what time isn't free? The antithesis to my old day. If nothing else, I'm a master of avoiding idle hands. These little activities keep me pleasantly busy. Not sure why I continue to destroy my work at each day's end, just like the sandcastles. Update. I must be tapping into the truth. Nothing is permanent. The 1st of October. 2008. Hmm. I can swear they're getting closer to the castle walls each night. Or am I simply staying up later? What have they been doing? Are their hands idle as well? Maybe one day I'll step outside to see remnants of their own holes, or sand castles, or stone piles. Maybe they wish to make amends for what they've done. For what they've taken away from me. Kara. Forced into a fleeting existence. Second of October, two thousand eight. If there truly is something waiting for us on the other side, I highly doubt anyone has touched it and returned to describe it. No golden gates brilliant winged beings or clouds that taste like ice cream. It probably couldn't be described. Not like stepping into the neighbor's house, but dispersing into all homes and appreciating the love they contain instead of the new furniture and renovated kitchen. Fourth of October, two thousand eight. Who are you? Do we have anything in common? Do you have anything to add? Did I give you this book in person? Is it in a museum? Found in a grave? Do you exist, dear reader? I hope you do. This is as much for me as it is for you. What would you do if you were in my place? Come nocturnal and go out to meet them. My day was so-so. Ready for bed now. What about you? The 5th of October, 2008. Huh, the gray hair. No one to share it with. My earliest memory, believe it or not was gliding down a corridor in my mother's arms. I like to think that was the day we were leaving the hospital via the wheelchair. Everyone thinks the memory is fabricated. For a baby to see and understand and remember anything from the day they were born is nigh impossible. The 6th of October, 2008. Chased Kara through the caves today. I know, I know. It's bad to engage a hallucination. I promise I won't go in too deep. <laughs> Perhaps I should bring a canary with me next time, just to be safe. The water all around the island was boiling, steaming. It was so incredibly hot that I couldn't even get near it. It was fascinating to see what the bubbles did to the breaking waves. Though the steam was thick and the water loud, I could see that the teal light was all around. 
pleasant droning sound was within me. Evidence of my first dream? Like my first memory. The lines are blurred. Kara, now, a child that loves ponies and planes with equal passion. <laughs> 